Last year, when general manager Kwesi Dofa Mensa came in as the Vikings' new general manager, uh, a lot was made about his analytics background as opposed to you know, uh, a meat and potatoes football background. And uh, he was going to make some big time moves. He's going to make some calculations, and of course, he was going to be all about the money ball. Now, outside of the, you know, the the great movie with Brad Pitt and Jonah Hill, it was like, hey, instead of uh, money ball and baseball is certainly a little bit different. And also, the book by Jeff Lewis is amazing, by the way. But uh, the whole constructing a roster with the cheapest players possible but boiling everything down to just like can you get on base like that, that's a little bit different uh than what goes on in the national football league and what w- what's been interesting is the moves that quasi has been making this off season it really does sync up and jive and now we understand what he's doing so he's institu- uh, he's instituting the nfl's version of uh moneyball which is very interesting because guess what uh peter brand Jonah Hill's character Paul D, uh, was based on Paul D. Podesta, who worked for the Browns, where Quasi uh, cut his teeth as assistant regional general manager. Love it. But uh, moves uh, tenants of uh, NFL Moneyball. So retaining young upside talent cheap. So a bunch of guys on the rooster have been resigned. A uh, young free agents below market value. That's exactly what the Vikings have been doing, uh, especially upside guys with Josh Oliver, third round pick, uh, Byron Murphy, uh, first pick of the second round, as well as uh, of course Marcus Davenport. A uh, short one to three year deal, so you're not being uh, tied down four, five, six years now. To a degree, they do benefit the teams because uh, then the the remaining salaries are usually below market rate, and the team has full control. Either you play for us or you play elsewhere. Uh, but the the proration of the signing bonuses over the remaining years of the deal that does add up when it comes to dead cap, front loaded guarantee. So if the player doesn't work, no muss, no fuss. On to the next one. Shedding bad veteran contracts as well as giving up on a player too early versus too late, which is very smart. And also if you do keep older players, uh, they're either really cheap below market and they serve a specific role or niche or they're still a starter uh, which we'll get into here in a sec but the moves that the vikings have made so we got the moves we got the uh random details of the contract as well as the age of the player so vikings only signing young guys uh dean lowry is the oldest guy coming in at 28 gonna be 29 for the season uh but all of them are at on exceedingly reasonable deals especially josh oliver especially uh byron murphy and and they're all 26 or younger. I mean, Davenport is the elder statesman of the top three uh, at 26. Oliver and Murphy are both 25. And the guys that they re, re, uh, re-signed and brought back, Garrett Bradbury, extremely reasonable deal, is only 27 and trying to pan out some of the potential that made him a first-round pick back in 2019. Nick Mullins, solid veteran backup quarterback, very cheap deal, only 27. Greg Joseph, a you know, one-year $2 million deal, which is almost fully guaranteed, but that doesn't necessarily guarantee him a roster spot. I expect the Vikings to bring in a UDFA kicker uh, for some competition. Alexander Madison, two-year, $7 million deal, only 24. Uh, very reasonable. D- does that mean that Dalvin Cook is going to be gone? TBD. Ellison, uh, Ellison and Wilkes were both going to be RFAs, and their tender would have been about $2.5 million, so you're bringing them back at the league minimum. Uh, it's a fantastic move, and also they're both young, and they, they serve a purpose as depth. Schlutman is back. Ole Udo is back on a one-year deal. TBD, uh, what the guarantees is, uh, are, but they're 27 and 26, respectively, both decent backup offensive linemen. And then you look at uh, you know older guys that have brought, uh, been brought back. Harrison Smith, steep pay cut from 14-7 down to 8 with $2 million in incentives. He is 34, but he is still a starter and serves a very specific role on this team. Andrew DiPaolo. The largest guarantee for a long snapper ever. Don't care. He's fantastic. As well as uh, he's well, he is 35, but in long snapper years, like who cares? Like, hey, do you, do you know that there's been long snappers that have been 40? Yeah, as long as he can do the job, he can do the job. Jordan Hicks. So Jordan Hicks was a bit puzzling, but one year, three point two five million, uh, as his base salary isn't insane, uh, as well as in terms of leadership, in terms of wearing the green dot, lining up the defense, being a two down, uh, run stuffing uh, interior uh, inside uh, linebacker. Sure. Just don't let him cover anyone. Uh, players have been gone. Uh, Patrick Peterson, two year, uh, two years, fourteen million dollars to the Steelers. I like Patrick Peterson. He played well last year, but doesn't really sync up with what Flores wants to do on defense with his corners. And $7 million a year for a 32-year-old corner? No. Uh, Cameron Tiny Dancer, that was more performance. Waved, and then uh, Washington picked him up. Thielen is 32. He got the bag from Carolina. And the Vikings, I'm sure, offered him a reduced rate, uh, a la Harrison Smith. But it wasn't going to be as good as the 3-for-25 and $14 million guaranteed he got from Carolina. Eric Kendricks is 31. Also didn't quite look like Hendricks last year, but he got a decent deal with the Chargers. And, of course, Diesel Dalvin Thompson, who is 29, 
Four-year, $57 million? Are you kidding me? Are you bleeping me from the Browns? I mean, it's whatever. But, of course, the Browns give out insane contracts that reset the market. And Dalvin, respect. I'm glad that he got paid. But the Vikings were not shelling that out uh, for a guy who's going to be 30 next February. And then decisions to be made. Sedaris is going to be 31 uh, in the season, but over half of his base salary is going to, is going to be fully guaranteed. Uh, D, uh, Dalvin Cook uh, has a $10.4 million base salary this year, $2 million of which is already fully guaranteed, uh, but he is going to be 28 uh, this season. Do the Vikings move on from him? Do they just... Uh, do they just eat the $2 million and then cut him and save that salary cap? Do they lean on him before the start of the season to take a pay cut? Do they trade him? Who knows? Uh, and then they did a cap conversion with Kirk Cousins, who, of course, at 34, that's relatively young in quarterback years. But y- you see what they've done. Uh, and you see what Kwesi has done is that they're putting a premium on young guys on cheap short deals and letting go of a lot of the older guys. And I think that's going to be the MO going forward. You know, Kwesi was smart running it back with some of these veteran guys because he could, he could see that that gave the Vikings the best chance to be successful in 2022. And that's exactly what they did. 13 wins, won the division. We don't talk about the playoffs, <laughs> uh, but overall uh, on paper, on purpose, this team looks pretty damn good. Uh, in terms of if they can suture up the offensive line, even though they're basically running it back with uh, the Jabronis from last year. Mm. Uh, also add Ole Udo to this list. And then defensively, I mean, they're ready to rock and roll. So I'm pretty happy with what Kwesi has been doing so far, and it's a whole trust the process thing. And I, you know, none of these moves... Ah, nailed it. None of these moves were egregious. Like, no one's really complaining about any of the free agent deals. No one is necessarily complaining about the players that were let go because uh, they're all older guys and Cameron Dancer. So, I don't know. Like, I, I, I like what Kwesi has been doing, but, of course, it doesn't matter until the fall, and then we'll see what kind of rooster uh, this team uh, it brings together, uh, is brought together by Kevin O'Connell. But your thoughts are thoughts. Kwesi Dofamensa playing Moneyball this the offseason. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Once we'll support the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.